Behind me is the new vault truck. This contraption is capable of holding tons of wood, flying down cliffs, and doing other random things. If you didn't know, the vault truck was an insanely popular design back in 2021 and 2022, being used to gather items, wood, and everything else that you would need to transport. This popularity burst was started by fellow YouTuber Apton, who made a video on his design of the vault truck back in 2021. Unfortunately, since then it has been patched by a Roblox update that basically changed the spawning position of all vehicles in the game. And from that day on, there's been nothing quite like the original vault truck. I mean, sure, there have been other designs like the tank that you can put tons of items in, but these designs just don't have the simplicity and ease of access that the vault truck did. And that is where I come in. See, after lots of testing, I was finally able to recreate the sole mechanic that made the vault truck work, which is something called tailgate welding. Basically, you weld something to a tailgate of a truck, that way when you open the truck's tailgate, whatever is welded to it moves with it. And if that's a bit too complex for you, basically welding is just when two vehicles spawn next to each other, and then they sort of glue together. Think of it as if two structures are just attached to each other permanently. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into how you can build the working vault truck in 2023. Now that we have all the materials, it's time to begin the build. To start, make sure you have a pretty big area as this build does take up about two plots worth of space. Start with the Vols all-purpose hauler and place it down like so. Now grab a tiny floor blueprint and place it right here. Now grab a large tile and place it against the tiny floor like this. Make sure the floor and the tile are flush. From there, place two more floors on top of the original floor like so. Now it's time to grab your painting. Grab the title unknown painting and place it against the wall like this. Now grab one of your 531 haulers and place it alongside the painting vertically. It should look like this. Next you want to grab some tile blueprints and place some 6 studs up from the bottom of the trailer. Simply move your cursor up and count the studs as you go. Once that's done, place your real tiles on top of them. Next you want to grab your signal delay and place it over here. Grab your button and place it directly into the signal delay so you don't have to use another wire. Take one wire from the end of the signal delay and route it to the front of the truck. Take the other wire from the bottom of the signal delay, aka the button itself, and route it to the trailer. Now's a good time to ensure your signal delay is also set on 1, and to test if it works, simply press the button and you should see something spawning in. Open the tailgate and if the trailer goes with it, that means it works. Good job. Now it's time for the most complicated bit. Start by grabbing a large floor and placing it two studs over the edge of the truck spawner. Then grab a small floor and place it right on top. From there you want to grab a large tile and place it flat on top of the small floor. Turn your camera underneath and place three tiles going directly down from underneath the first large tile. Now you can expand out this area by placing a few more tiles at the level of the last tile you placed. The end goal is to place a trailer right on top of the tiles like so. I'll speed this part up slightly, but, but the key thing to note here is that the top of the trailer must be in line with the small floor you placed earlier. As you see, the 531 hauler is perfectly lined up with the small floor. 
Now grab your basic door and place it one slot away from the large floor. Make sure it's opened up like this. And from there you can delete all of your guiding blueprints. Now simply spawn in the contraption, and you should notice that it's welded to this door right here. Now all you have to do is open up the door twice, and press this button to spawn in the third trailer. E move B the door to unweld the contraption, and temporarily move the spawner above to easily get out of this area. And just like that, your vault truck is all ready for use. To test that it works, simply open the tailgate here, and then close it once again. Now I'm not going to go into detail about all the features of the vault truck, as Apton already has a very good video on it, and our trucks are basically identical in functionality. What I am going to go over is things that are slightly different with my vault truck. Now obviously because there's another trailer on the back of the truck, the truck is going to be a little heavy which does make it a little harder to go up some cliffs. However, it's not really an issue as this truck can still go up every single hill that Athens vault truck could. The only major issue with this vault truck is that sometimes the back trailer here gets hitched onto the hitch of the truck itself which does make it not drive so all you have to do is go back here and click E to unhitch the trailer and there you go. Now you can drive all the way. Speaking of driving away, this version of the vault truck is way more stable than the other one was, and this is because it has so much bottom weight that it basically flips itself no matter how far you go down. And of course your wood will stay safe during this descent. Just like the original vault truck, you can still hold big pieces of wood in this little area right here. This is by far my favorite feature of the truck as it's just really nice and really easy to carry big trees across big distances without having to worry about falling out of your truck. And in case you were wondering, yes the blueprint glitch does work with this version of the truck. And that's going to be the end of the video. While this version of the vault truck may not be as good as the original one, but I still think it's a good contraption worth building and having around. I know personally that I'm going to use this to collect some spook wood in the coming spooktober. Anyways, this is going to be it for me. Go check out Apton if you haven't already. Goodbye!